Hello. In this video we will show you how to get started with the restaurant module of Robotil. We will do the basic setup and do one sale. To download Robotil, go to robotil.com. You can download the install file. You can also follow the install instructions on how to install your first or main computer. Once installed, there will be three Robotil icons on your desktop. Double click on Robotil Back Office. You can use the default username, admin, and the default password, password, to log in. The interactive interface will notify us that we need to add products. But we first need to do some basic setup for our restaurant. Click on Setup and Settings. We will start by creating categories for our menu. Select the default category and click on Edit. We change the category name to Drinks, where we will add all our items from the bar. There is no Save or Update button as changes we make are automatically saved. We now use the navigation bar to go back to the Categories level, as we want to add more categories. Click on New, and enter the new category name. We will add a breakfast menu category. In Robotil Back Office, there is no update or save buttons as that is done automatically. But when you create a new item, you must click on the Create button. We will add one more category. This time, as we are done with categories for now, we use the navigation bar to go up two levels back to the Setup and Settings screen. We will now add some tables to our restaurant floor plan. Click on Settings and then select Restaurant Settings. To see what all the settings are for, just click on the Get Help link in Robotil Back Office. For now, we will just edit the floor plan. You add tables and lay them out on the floor plan the same way your actual table layout is in your restaurant. This will allow your waiters to easily select the correct table. You can give each table the name or description you want. You can add any number of tables. You can also add objects that are not tables, for example a wall, door, waiter station, or any other object that will make your floor plan easier to understand for your waiters. It is only the tables that can be selected for orders. You can add round, square, or rectangle tables of any size. You only need to set up your floor plan once. But you can update and change it as often as needed. We can obviously make our floor plan look a lot better, but for this demonstration we will only add a couple of tables. Please note, unlike the rest of Robotil back office, in the floor plan design view, you must save your changes. Changes you make in the design view is not automatically saved. We now want to add a couple of waiters. We use the navigation bar to go back to setup and settings. Waiters are also system users. So we will be adding new users. Click on users, and then click on new to add a new user. Enter the username. The username must be unique. You must also enter a unique PIN for each user. Unless you are using employee cards with predefined numbers, you can simply enter a 4 or 5 digit number.
Remember that when adding a new item in back office, you must click on the create button. Changes are only automatically saved once an item has been created. We have now done the basic setup for our restaurant. All we need to do now is add some products that we can sell. Using the navigation bar, we go back to the home screen. We then select products and stock, and then products. We then click on new to add a new product. Enter a description for the product. You can then enter either a stock code, or a barcode number, or both. A stock code can simply be a shorter version of the description that is still unique. It is important to select the correct category for this product so that the product button will appear under that category. When we click on the button to create the product, more options for this product becomes available. We click on product prices to set the price for our product. As the product has already been created, any changes we now make is automatically saved. Our coffee product has been created and allocated to the drinks category. We will now add a couple more products in exactly the same way, but to keep this video as short as possible, we will skip that part. We added three products to the breakfast category. We also added another four products to our drinks category. We have completed the basic setup for our restaurant and we can now start serving customers. We will now take a look at the restaurant module. Double click on the Robotil restaurant icon on your desktop. You will be asked if you want to upgrade to the full edition. You can just select no. For this demonstration, our cashier will be the default admin user. We will log in with the default pin of 12345. To start a sale, we need to select a table. We will be asked to select a waiter that will serve this table. There are many different ways in Robotil that you can work with waiters and tables. You can configure how you want to work with waiters in Robotil back office. The selected table and waiter will be displayed. We can now start adding the ordered items to our sale. We can leave the sale open as we might want to add more items later. We can switch to another table and start working on another sale at any time. Robotil allows you to use any number of computers. You can let waiters select their tables from different computers and have a separate computer for the cashier. You could configure Robotil to force waiters to swipe their employee cards or enter their PIN each time they want to work on their table. In this quick start guide we didn't cover how to set up department printers, so that you can print order slips to departments like the kitchen and bar. But once you set that up, you can submit the order slips to the various departments. You can print an intermediate bill. You can also add a waiter tip to the sale. Let's finish our first sale. You click on the pay button to complete a sale. You can accept multiple payment methods per sale. If you are using an electronic cash drawer, the drawer will open and the receipt will be printed. If you are just using intermediate bills, you can choose not to print receipts. We completed our first sale. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to subscribe so that you won't miss out on upcoming videos.